all right everybody i was just going to show a little update on the the welding trailer i did some more work to it i added this vise to where <clears throat> it slides in there and then you take this bolt out and it'll slide out to here you can put a jack underneath it to kind of hold it i had these two these uh the lead reels in the middle right here and it was kind of covering up the all the controls and everything here so i cut them in half and i capped off the ends like that and then i bought this diamond lead reels and uh this thing's it you know pretty nice you have to make like little looks like jumper cables you, know, you got to put ends on it you know well, that thing's loose you need to check that out uh and then it hooks up to the You can loosen this bolt right here and, th and it'll pivot out so i did the same thing on this one i welded a piece of pipe onto the skid right here and then welded a nut with the bolt and it just jams up against it so it's pretty tight so this holds my remote my remote cord for uh for this weld machine and then this one holds the extension cord for this and same thing over here you can loosen the bolt up right there and swivel it out of the way to get the bottle out you know when you need to change it out or you can just unplug it lift the whole thing up and set it over there same way with this one it just twist connects right here with a 14 pin connector so you can just unscrew it then unscrew that lift the whole thing up get out of the way so you can get your bottle off the reason why I made this skid like this because I'm gonna redo the D-rings. These were just little rinky-dink ones that I put on here before I got started. But when I set it down, I'll set it down on the floor. Once I get everything on it, I'll put a piece of pipe underneath it and then I'll roll it on that pipe until it balances. Well, then I'll mark, I know that's dead center for, for weight. And then I'll just measure out like two foot, two foot. It'll really be on this side. So I'll measure two foot, two foot, and put new D-rings. So that way when you lift it up with all the weight on the skid, then it'll lift up pretty even and it won't, it won't tilt or anything. So that's how you find center on something like this. If you build something like this, even if it was this whole trailer, say if you had this whole trailer with no wheels on it and it was a skid, but you wanted to weld lifting lugs on it, you would put a piece of pipe underneath it. Once you got all your stuff on there where you want it, roll it on there and when it teeter totters you know that center that center of gravity so then you can measure out evenly and uh put your lifting lugs and when you hook up to it it'll lift it all up pretty pretty level and uh so that's the same thing but the reason why i built this skid like this is because i can unbolt this thing on all four corners pick it up and it'll fit in the bed of my truck i made it to where it'll fit in between the lead wells i mean the uh fender wells so it'll, it'll slide right in there and uh you know you can shut the tailgate and everything but like i got a external fuel tank i got a drag up tank on my truck it's not a real big one but if i didn't have that in the toolbox in it, it was all the way up against the cab then this would fit totally in my truck and you can shut the tailgate and you know take it out put it in whenever you need to and that's why i designed it like this uh years ago we used to have skids like this and then we would we would uh put our lincoln weld machines on here and sometimes you know you couldn't get your truck down the right away or something like that so you'd build skids like this to set all your stuff on and then it'd get on a maruka buggy or or you know anything and it, it'll get drug out there in the middle of the pasture or out there in the mud or they get even uh i've even put them on barges before you know where you can't put your whole truck and then when you get ready to you don't really need any jacks out there but if you did you just take you know four of these jacks off and you just lay them right right down in that area right there you know once it's in the truck so you can carry some jacks and that's why you always put a little toolbox on them like this so you can keep your grinders your hoods you know a few tools stuff like that in there i got a, a bandsaw just a little toolbox you know it's got a, it's a dry box uh 
like an ammo, but it's a plastic one. And I keep like sockets and wrenches and stuff like that in there just in case, screwdrivers, in case you need it, Allen wrenches, stuff like that. I need to fill in these holes here. So I'll have to mess up this paint a little bit and grind that down, get that stuff off of there, and then I'll just TIG it and I'll just I'll fill in them holes. But yeah, that's why it's, that's, the skid's made like that. You know, I made it to where instead of it taking up the bed of the trailer this way, I made it, it just worked out to where from from rail to rail. And like I said, I put these J bolts, I made these J bolts, you know, where it hooks. And then when it's in the shop, I know I went over this with when I first did it, but a lot of people probably haven't seen it. But I got casters that when you take these bolts out right here, I got casters that go up in there and then you can roll it around here in the shop. You know if it's on the ground um you know so that's just kind of an update on it the next thing i'm going to do is is build the the rack for the top so i can carry like ladders and stuff like that and i think what i'm going to do is i got some two and a half inch square tubing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this rail right here and then i'll put that square tubing in there and i'll weld it here weld it here weld it here and then weld it you know and then it'll be one on four corners and then i'll make the top rack where this side sits on that side sits on and then i'll do something to where the center supports bolt in there and that way you could take it all apart and then you could just like lean it up against the wall store it or something like that that way you're not you don't have something sitting on the ground that's as big as this trailer taking up space you know as you can see i'm kind of running out of space here in my shop but but yeah, I'm getting closer to getting this finished. I kind of like this this little new additive on here. Um, I like these a lot better. So, you, you know, you can get to the controls. When these were on, when these reels were on here, I had them welded down right here and over here. And uh, there's a little bit of low high for y'all. 7018. Uh, you couldn't really get behind there. I thought about putting these over here, you know, and standing them up. Then I was like, Man, if I ever put that in my truck and I'm leaning over my my dually fenders and scratching them all up to roll that out. So then I was got to thinking the way this is designed with the pipe in there to where this slips over. I was like, shoot, I'll just do the same thing. So sometimes, you know, you just just think about what you need to do and, you know, don't jump to conclusions and do it right away and uh, think it out. And, you know, it, it all comes together. I, like I said, I, I, I cut a hole inside here to where this this will slide it's two inch square tubing this is a receiver hitch you buy them at a uh, harbor freight or tractor supply or something like that and then now that'll slide out it's a little high but i'm kind of tall so i mean it works out good for me but the thing is you can turn this vice on the you know turn pull it out and turn it on the side and then you know hook stuff to it too so it ain't that big of you know i like it so but I'm gonna uh, buy me an umbrella and uh, it comes with a tube or I can get some PVC pipe and I'm thinking about connecting the umbrella tube here so I can slide my umbrella in there and uh, that'll hold that and then whenever I need my umbrella, I just unscrew it and take it out and put it up. I made this uh, umbrella holder years ago. Years ago, where's it at? I don't know what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. But it also is, is a half inch piece of plate. And then it's got pipe coming on this way and pipe coming out that way. And then like you could clamp it down to here and it'll hold your umbrella in it. Or you could clamp it to here and it'll hold your umbrella in it. So it's a pretty neat little, I mean, it's just a little thing. I, I even use it, I put it on a piece of pipe. Uh, like if we're welding, a lot of times you use slamming rods but I put it on a piece of pipe and then you uh, you wrap a uh, chain clamp around it and, and suck it down. I don't know where that thing is. Huh. I have to find it, but whenever I find it, I'll, I'll show y'all. But it, it's pretty handy to have. I don't know why it's not in here. There ain't no telling what I did with it. You know, here, here's the remote that I got for it. I uh, went to Harbor Freight and bought this little uh, plastic kit. 
my uh, spool gun come in. I ordered this for this machine. So, and it fits perfect in here. So, it's a Miller 30A spoolmatic. So, that way it just don't throw it in the box. And, uh, you know, it can kind of stay protected. So, that's, that's pretty nice. So, but anyways, I just wanted to give an update on the trailer. Uh, been working on this uh table for our wood fire pizza oven but but I, I know i did this the other day and i, I go on youtube and, and search stuff to get ideas and stuff like that so that's why i wanted to put it out um because i know other people you know they, they look and look for ideas for for a, a welding trailer so but like i said I, I made mine all removable so where i could take everything off of this and probably an hour and then you know i got the trailer again so all right well thanks uh thanks for watching and uh don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll try to put out some more videos when i can so uh everybody take care bye